execution of Richard Glossop will move forward after he was denied clemency today by the Pardon and Parole Board. Glossop was sentenced to die for the 1997 murder of his boss, Barry Van Treese, but Glossop maintains his innocence. Even the state attorney general has raised some doubts about the case. But the Van Treese family say they hope today's vote will set the wheels of justice in motion. News Force Dylan Brown was at today's hearing. He picks it up from there, Dylan. Hey, Adria, Kevin, uh, there's no appealing today's decision. I want to start with that. Glossop's attorney now asking Governor Stitt to halt the execution. They say a lack of evidence means an innocent man could be killed May 18th. I'm not a murderer, and I don't deserve to die for this. Richard Glossop reiterating his claim of innocence at Wednesday's clemency hearing. I'm deeply sorry that in my fear and confusion, I caused anyone any further harm. The family of murder victim Barry Van Trees listening as Glossop made his case. We've never had an apology until I guess there was sort of one today, but it's a long time coming. But ultimately the board deciding. Clemency is denied. In an unusual move, State Attorney General Drummond supported clemency for Glossop after the appeals court rejected the case last month. On Wednesday, Drummond pointed to questions he's raised over how the trial was handled from alleged evidence being destroyed to lies from Justin Sneed. The man prosecutors say Glossop hired to kill Van Trees and took a plea deal to testify against Glossop in order to avoid the death penalty. Nonetheless, I believe that death to be excessive, an excessive sentence for the man who did not commit this violent act. We felt so betrayed by the uh, Oklahoma Attorney General Drummond. The Van Trees family voicing frustration with how the case has played out over the years, including publicity from celebrities like Kim Kardashian. Excuse my language, I said, and I'm not really supposed to say this, but I said, what the hell? After the denial, Glossop's attorney Don Knight called on the governor to grant a reprieve. You feel like you got justice today? I feel like justice has finally been served after 26 years. Now, the vote by the board was two to two, one board member recusing himself because his wife's a prosecutor who was previously involved in Glossop's case. Uh, now, if you didn't know, you need a majority to recommend clemency. Glossop's attorney still, though, has a petition before the U.S. Supreme Court seeking to halt that execution. All right, Dylan, thank you.